Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out my YouTube video. Uh, I haven't really done this a lot of times, talking into the camera and talking to you guys and you know, like keeping on having a conversation with myself. It's a bit, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite used to it yet. I'm trying my best. I decorated the house or, well, my table with a flower just for you guys, just because the background isn't really nice the way it is now, but this is my home and I don't have any other place to record uh, my videos. So, I hope you appreciate the little plant uh, decoration that I did for you. And yeah, let me get um, onto the subject. Yeah. Anyway, um, when I was at Lightbox Expo, uh, I went to Jamila. I don't know how you pronounce her last name, but I can try. Jamila Knopf. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's probably not like that. So I'm really sorry, Jamila, if you ever hear me pr trying to pronounce your name. I don't speak German. I have no clue how you pronounce your name, but everyone probably knows who you are in the art community. So I assume everyone knows what I mean or who I mean when I say Jamila, right? So. I went to one of her, is it called panels or um, is it talks or not lecture, but whatever, one of those things that were at Lightbox Expo and I listened to her um, um, talking about storytelling and stuff like that. Uh, it was really interesting and uh, she did this one exercise or not exercise. Oh yeah, I guess it was kind of an exercise. Uh, where she wanted us to write down the words that we associate our own art with uh, or it was more like adjectives so like you know uh, description words or like words that describe your um, your art so everyone had like two or three four minutes uh, to think about that and um, yeah, it was pretty interesting. So, on my phone here, um, I'm gonna find the words that I um, that I wrote down. Uh, hold on, I'm really sorry. Let me see. Okay, so um, is this all right? Oh, okay. Wait, let me see. Okay, first, she actually told us to write down what inspires us and who inspires us, which I have a pretty good inkling of. Um, so I can say some of the stuff that I wrote down there. And it was fantasy stories, dragon, volcanoes, uh, beautiful colors. I'm really obsessed with colors, probably because sometimes colors is like, a mystery to me like one week I understand it the next week is like a complete mystery and I'm like wait why is the shadow bluish oh why is that shadow different and why is it like this and that and then I spend quite a lot of hours of my life thinking about colors and shadows and yeah ambient occlusion and all of these things and I'm constantly trying to figure that stuff out and I haven't succeeded yet, but maybe one day. Um, forest, I'm really into forests. Oh, look at the plant. It's not a forest, but I still like the plant. And I have some other plants, but that can be for another time. You're not getting that plant now. I mean the other plants. Um, also, if you want to find a name or a good name suggestion for my plant, please, uh, please go ahead. I don't have a name for it. Um, all right. And then I wrote mystery, magic, landscapes. I like beautiful landscapes. If they're kind of like untouched by humans, I guess. Um, yeah, or it can be like castle or medieval stuff or fantasy stuff, fantasy, fantasy, yeah. Uh, sometimes I like science fiction and um, like cityscapes, but it really depends. 
think I prefer nature. And then I like the human body. Um, especially the female body. I think it's beautiful. I'm sorry guys, you guys have a beautiful body too. But I think women are more fun to paint. Because shapes and hourglass and yeah. Mm -hmm. I just like the round stuff on yeah, a woman's body. Um, I like details. Mm, like detail work or like small details in something I draw or paint. And sometimes I get a bit too focused on... Um, details so that's actually something i'm trying to like kind of avoid especially when i'm painting faces i always like zoom way too far in and work a lot on the skin and then i zoom out and you can't even see the details so it's kind of pointless so i try to leave out those details and add details other places where it matters that's the hard part though uh, and then i wrote people or artists that inspires me and that is Ahmed Adori. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I met him at Lightbox Expo. He was really nice. And then Charlie Bowater. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious in my art style. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, or did I? I'm gonna say it again. This is a video about um, style board, like my style board. So not my art, but yeah styles that inspires me or yeah mm -hmm. or things that inspires me um anyway uh, the riot splash art is um i like it quite a lot um, and then jeremy fenske because he has beautiful landscapes and uh, this woman called uh, this artist called again german anna steinbauer steinbauer I don't know how you would pronounce that. And then, of course, Ghibli Studio. I used to live in Japan, so it's always been a big inspiration for me. Uh, I've always loved all the background paintings um, that's done in the Ghibli movies. Because they're so green and foresty, and I like it. And then Zelda has been a huge, maybe the biggest inspiration since I was like 11. I think that pretty much sets um, my style or my interest and in, yeah, wherever I'm heading now. And then I wrote dark things. Because I like things when they are a bit evil or yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can be honest about that. I like dark things. Or if it's scary or something or if it's a bit kind of a horror thing or yeah yeah all right anyways so that was actually the first exercise that we did and um <laughs> then she told us to oh yeah she's calling it an influence map so i'm just calling it a style board but um she used the word influence map which i guess is the better term for it um so she yeah that was what i said earlier um uh talking about the the adjectives that you come like that you uh shit i'm forgetting english guys um hello uh whatever words that describe your art or what you think describes your art yeah so uh, i wrote down sensual and i think by that i meant a woman because i do like women a lot all right uh and strong was a word and that is strong woman probably a bit like stubborn woman and women that are capable of handling themselves and women who don't need men I don't know if that's the case though. But strong women who can do um, whatever. They're capable of doing what they want. All right. And then I, I wrote bright. And now I'm kind of thinking like, what the heck did I mean? Bright. 
Did I mean like bright as in um, forest? A forest is bright? Probably like all the landscape paint paintings and the stuff um, that I sometimes put into my paintings. Uh, and pretty as in I draw a lot of pretty women uh, or try at least my best to make them look pretty and I like to draw pretty things and pretty clothes and pretty forests and pretty details na 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 the list goes on um, and then I wrote dark I do like to draw dark yeah woman evil woman yeah do i like to draw evil and dark men maybe sometimes happens i guess but yeah and magical because i like fantasy i guess so that is what i had on what i associate my art with with oh my god i'm so sorry for that norwegian um yeah kind of accent or whatever that passed uh, into my English there. Um, yeah, but now let me show you the style board or what did you say again? The influence map that I've made. Um, and then you guys can see where my inspirations come from. So, yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, shoot, I'm supposed to take away this. All right, let me try. So this, oh, I'm still there. Yep, okay. This is my grade board or style board or whatever we want to call it. Um, all right, so let me take away from the corner because the video is there. So this is obviously Charlie Bullwater's painting. I'm probably not gonna remember all the names of the artists here, but I will put the names uh, and the URL to their arts under my or where i can write about the video so don't worry too much about that so i'm just gonna say i talk a bit about what inspires me uh with charlie's picture i mean i always really really like the way she paints faces you can't really see it that good here that well because the resolution isn't that good but you kind of see the point and i just like the way she renders the dresses and the details on her dress uh, and the leaves because it's so green and beautiful and there's like these small details and you have an owl there hidden and a little wolf and the shiny hair and the pretty woman and the pretty man and yeah i really like it what's pretty fascinating about charlie's style is that it's kind of desaturated um yeah yeah it's pretty desaturated compared to a lot of other art but i do like it quite a lot but i also like things that are really green and happy and yeah like like this and ghibli studio and zelda and i like the forest obviously because i've said that a million times um yeah so and i like the light here the landscape and all the you know everything looks so green and nice and i'm a summer person not a winter person, so I just get so happy when I see art like this. Also, I bought a print of Jeremy um, at Lightbox Expo, so I do have this and I do intend to hang it up on my wall. I like this one because, well, it's desaturated and I kind of like things that are desaturated. Um, and I like the darkness to his face and I kind of feel that he's a bit evil, so apparently I do also like evil men, I guess, a bit, or like mysterious men or whatever, magical men, no, no, no. Uh, I like that he can just like float up in the air and like everything that's going on and, you know, everything that leaves your eye around the picture. It's a really good composition. And I also like things that are quite dynamic. There's a landscape that I really like, and I should remember his name, but I'm so sorry. I don't, and I should, but I will um, add the link. I like the composition of the picture, and I like the green, of 
forest and I like blue and I like the clouds. Um, yeah. Um, this is Jeremy Aninos. What I really, 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 really like about his art is the way he draw female shapes because it's so feminine and I really, really enjoy the feminine body and yeah, dynamics again and that, and that there's like movement and I like that they're half naked. I must admit that or that there's a lot of like meat on their bodies or whatever or that they have big hips and stuff like that because that's also um, I don't know something I tend to draw uh, this is uh, oh my god another artist name that I do not know how to pronounce her name is Jessica Owen Yard <clears throat> oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something like that uh, she is really really good with drawing females strong females with a lot of dynamics. So again, the stuff that I like, this is her piece and this is another piece. And you see there's a repetition here of these like strong women that I have a tendency to really like as well as the strong man. He's strong as well, of course, I didn't say anything. And here we have my dark element coming in. This is Jason Chan, so good. And he is also a bit like Charlie He's uh, very desaturated, there's some color, but it's just something about the majestic feel of these women and, you know, whatever he draws. Um, just absolutely love it. I did buy some prints from him as well at Lightbox. And what do we have here? Um, something orange. This is um, also an artist I don't remember the name of at the moment. I will, I will put uh, the link in the comments area or whatever uh, what I like here is probably the light and colors and the contrast and the yeah the way everything is I, I'm just I think it's a beautiful piece and it's giving me happy feelings and inspiration Ghibli studio uh, the one of the backgrounds from I'm not quite sure where but I like all the greens that are going on here and the forest and it's just making me so happy just like so happy and here we have um anna steinbauer steinbauer you see it's the dark women again like the kind of evil strong yeah majestic look or that they can apparently i don't know kill someone on their own and or i'm not quite sure what she has been doing here mm, well something like that she's strong she can manage on her own she, she doesn't need a man in her life yeah, um, then again, green, landscape and orange. And well, this is a medieval cityscape. I really find that interesting because mm, it's pretty and nice and you can do a lot of different things with it. And then we have a dragon because I do love fantasy creatures. I'm actually not very good at drawing dragons. But I like dragons. I think of dragons. I want to get better at drawing dragons. And it's kind of dark and evil and scary. And I like that. So then we have a cat woman down here drawn by Okay, Art Germ or Stanley Lau, is that his name? Maybe. I hope that was correct. I hope so. Sorry if it wasn't. Okay, um, yeah it's the same here there's a lot of black and there's a woman and she's pretty and she is yeah doing something by herself whatever like hanging upside well this picture is turned upside down but anyway and oh let me mute a bit on this and i guess this is well defining a fantasy picture that i like it's a creature it's well not magical magical but it's yeah, what is it? Yeah, just fantasy, I guess. And when I draw line art, I really like drawing something in this style. So, and that's um, Nabetze, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Nabetze Citro, he's from Italy, I think. He's really good at line art. I absolutely love his lines. So, 
this is my style board or whatever we're gonna call it inspiration board uh, and with having this the whole point is to like always have a good reminder um, of, of uh, oh hold on one second mm, no I don't want to do that okay now um, the whole idea is to get a, a good yeah a good idea of what styles you like so that it's easier for you to you know to keep um, I don't know keep drawing the style that you want to draw or that you keep you know painting in that direction because sometimes as an artist you can get like <sighs> super confused by seeing so much good art and then you're like oh I want to draw this or I want to draw that or I want to I want to try this I want to do this so I just gathered everything here and this is yeah this is what I want to do like a merge of all of this so I think it was a really good exercise um, that Jamila had pretty good so I do think that everyone else should try to make a little style board or what was the name again uh, influence map at home yeah all right uh, thank you so much for uh, listening to my YouTube video I'm very sorry for being such an amateur but I'm trying to get better and I hope this is a bit interesting and that you don't find it dead boring that I'm talking so much and I'm really sorry for my Norwegian accent, but I am Norwegian. So uh, I don't know. You just have to live with it, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks.